Okay, so here we are, we're almost to the end, and we just single crochet all the way down the other side of the center part of the bone. Now, I want to tell you while I'm thinking about it is, uh, maybe you can pan out just a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Um, what you need to do is you need to make sure that when you're doing this, that whatever you do to one, you know, each, you can't just do one or it's going to look lopsided. So you have to do, you got to come all the way around um, when you're completing your thing where you can end the rug, you know, like here or here or here, you know, some somewhere in those locations. But um, you can't just do three. Well, I say you can't. You can do anything you want. But to do three of the, the little tidbits out, the little tips out, would um, then make the thing look lopsided. So uh, keep that in mind when you're doing it. Okay, so what you're going to do on the ends, this is how I teach my um, oval rag rug in a class too. So it's going to be the same thing for the, for the end. What you do in order to get around the arch is you find the two holes on the end. So here's one hole and here's one hole. Some of you might grab this one like that. That'd work. I don't like to do that. I like to make my rugs more secure so I like to use these holes. If for some reason you can't get in there, sometimes they're just too tight. I might get over here and find that it's just too tight and I can't get this one by this one by its together. I might have to do that. You have to improvise. This is a rag rug. So what you're going to do is two single crochets in here, two single crochets in here. I'm going to show you how to handle this and then we're going to do this other end and I'm going to show you again on that. Okay, so We've come all the way and now we've got these two ends and we're going to put two single crochets in the two end holes. So you, what I mean by that, you're going to put two single crochets in the same hole. So you're going to go in and do this single crochet that I've been doing. Okay, and then you're going to do it again. It's a second single crochet in the first hole. What we're doing is we're trying to get around the circumference of this thing. So you need to make sure it's loose enough. You see how I loosened it up right here? If you're working like this, you are going to find yourself frustrated and aggravated. I see that when people are... What you're, what you're trying to do is get around the circumference. So you've got to make it loose enough so you can get yourself around. That's the reason for putting extra cro uh, single crochets so you can get around the um, arch. So we're going to go around. You, it's possible that you might have to do more than this, but this should work for most of you. Okay, see how I, instead of leaving it like that, see how I pulled it back out here? keeping it nice and smooth there, it's not like this. And if you're working like that, you're going to lose your mind. Okay, so you see how I loosened it again? And I'm going to go into that hole. That's the second time into that second. Uh, and here I pull it out again like this. And pull the back two off. Okay. See how it's nice and flat and it's working around? So now you're going to go down, just doing single crochets. And I'm going to show you when you get to the thing. This is a technique. I have two heart videos, heart rug videos, and one of them is just straight across. And the other one is done with this type of method as well. And I'm going to show you the trick to uh, keeping this little look that you got going on here. Okay. So what we're trying to do is we're going to skip a hole here. So we're going to kind of figure out which hole are we going to skip. So I'm going to go in this one. This is the center hole. This appears to be the center hole. So I'm going to skip that hole and then I'm going to go in here. Still doing single crochet. So I'm going to do one single crochet here, skip this hole, and do another single crochet here. You need to cinch it a little bit so it pulls it together a little bit um, as we're doing that. But I wanted to show you beforehand. Okay? So we're going to do one single crochet here. Then we're going to skip that hole. See, it's lining right up. And you're going to do another single crochet here, skipping it, loosening it up a little bit, but having it since down. And then we're going to continue on with our single crochets around the next tip. Okay. What happens if for some reason you notice one of your um, little tips? is much bigger or longer than the other, then you might have to come back on the one that's longer and skip in a different place 
and cinch it up and trying to, to even it out. You may have to do that depending on if you've made an error somewhere to compensate. That's how you would compensate your error. Um, and you might just have to practice a little bit. So we're going to do single crochets up until we get to the next end so I can show that to you one more time. And then the next thing I will proceed to will be um, showing you how to do the ends again for the next go round. Okay, I'm getting near the end. Let me look at it. Let me look. Okay, there, there's my two. Okay, that one's a little tighter. So these are my two end holes. See how you can see they're the two end holes? So you're going to do two single crochets in this one. That's one. See how I'm loosening it? Not doing it like that. I'm loosening it up. Look at I'm almost on the top of it. Wow, that was better than the first one around. Okay, loosen it. Where's my hole again? Here's my hole right here. Okay, so then you're going to go in and do sing two single crochets there. See how I'm loosening it up, keeping it flat, giving it more leverage here, giving a little bit more sheet yarn to get around. Go back into that one. That's your second single crochet into the second hole on this tip. Okay, then you would just proceed back down going in every hole. Now let me tell you something else. I, on one of the rugs that I did, you can go into this hole, the center hole, if you want, uh, and continue on. If it seems like it's getting out of hand or too much play, you may decide that in here you need to skip like you did up here a hole. That just depends on how far you go out, what type of stitching you do. You may have to do this after the rug gets bigger. You may not. I don't seem to need to do it, but you may have to skip a hole here if you continue on. So join me and we'll um, show you. Oh, you would go all the way down, do the same thing on the other two tips. Join me on the next one and I will show you how to do the next tips. Okay, so um, here we you just watched and this is at the where we've just gone around once I haven't gone around these a second time which putting two in each one now this has been completed like like we talked about that you want to do now we're on the second go round of going around the tips okay so let's show you what you do here in most instances this is the way it will work you're going to find the the three holes as you go around this this one this time here's the three holes one two three see one two three these are your three holes you're going to do two single crochets as you come around that it is possible that you would have to do more than that and do another one over here but um, we'll have to judge that when we get there okay this one I want to show you this rug um, is done with closer to three inch sheet yarn. It's th the first one was two to, to two and a half inches, but it's thicker sheet yarn. This is thinner sheet yarn, so I made it wider, closer to the three inch. Um, you have to do that too. So you can't just make all your sheet yarn sometimes the same size. Um, well, you could, but uh, sometimes you just need to make allowances. So this one is a little bit wider sheet yarn. So we're going to now do the second go around, going in these three holes, two single crochets. So that's one in the first hole, two single crochets in the second hole, keeping it loose enough, keeping it up. Here we're going to go in the second one, going to do two single crochets. That's one. Keeping it, see how I'm keeping it loose enough. Two. And then three. Let's see if this is going to be enough. I'm not convinced it's going to be. Let's see. Yeah, I think it is. How I judge this. See how it's kind of leaning into it? Here's your hole. Here's your next hole. It's leaning into it as opposed to too far away. If it was if this this 
stitch was kind of going this way and I'm having to pull too much, that's an indication that I'm going to have to do more single crochets there. Okay, so go in here and let's see if one single crochet is going to be adequate. Hmm. This is an iffy thing on this one. I'm going to go ahead and make it adequate. I won't do it the next time if I go around it's too tight. Now, once you go around that the second time, now you're going to have to judge on your own because depending on your style, your thickness of sheet yarn, your size of hook, your tension, these variables could all be different. Okay, so we're going to come down. Now I'm going to show you this doing the end again, this little cinching it up. Okay, so I'm going to put one here. This is going to be the hole that I'm going to skip and this is, I'm going to come over here and do it. So it's one single crochet here, skipping this hole and then here's your other hole you're going to put in, you're going to do a single crochet here. Single, skip, single. Trying to hold it in a way so you can see it well. Let me turn it a little bit. This is the one I'm going to skip. I'm going to come over here. You want to cinch it some, but not so much that it's going to buckle too much. Okay, so we skipped one there. Alright, I'm going to come down here with single crochets, find the 3N holes, and then we're going to, um, you can just re-watch that first one. Now see, this is cupping a little bit. I'm having to force it down a little bit. It's wanting to do that. So when I come around here a second time, because this is such thick sheet yarn, based upon the size hook, this is a 12 millimeter, this is thick sheet yarn, um, but I'm really wanting it dense. Um, I may have to add more single crochets than, than what I normally would do um, around an arch of that size. So here we're going to go in one more here, single crochet. And then here are the three end stitches, three end holes, one here, one here, and one here. These are tight. And I even was trying to be loose. So those of you who are really tight, you're going to have to be careful with that. So you're going to do two single crochets here, two single crochets here, two single crochets here. Go all the way down and duplicate the other side. So join me in just a moment and we're going to end. Um... Okay, so now we're going to use this tapestry needle or yarn needle. Um, it's metal. It's a number 13 that I like to use. You can use a 16 too. If you can find a 13, I like it a little bit. Um, better because the hole's a little bit bigger. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to finish this rug. I left it on purpose so we could finish it. I think maybe the best place would be to finish it in one of these corners. Um, so I think that would be the optimal situation. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to go in. I'm going to do one more single crochet here. I like to do a slip stitch which you go in instead of cross over I just pull off and then I pull this out like that see how it's blended this is a little shorter of a tail than I'd like to use um, because it makes it a little bit more challenging to maneuver back and forth but you're going to end it in the direction that you're, rug that you're crocheting okay so you're going to end it this way and then I'm going to come back um, I show you how to do this fairly quickly. I have a video that will be published that's doing it a little slower. Um, so here, keeping it flat, you're just going to find a way to um, blend it in. So I might just, I'm not going to be able to do it quite as far as I'd like. Okay, so you're going to try to wait to feed it through and this color is not the same as what I was working with and I don't like to do that to be honest with you but sometimes we're forced and if we're going to use these um, more scrappy rugs with the um, using all different ones which I really love personally um, some of you really want to have everything 
the continuity just this way and that way and they are lovely and I started doing more of that because I seemed like people wanted to but I've been doing more of this with all these different variegated colors so you're just gonna keep pulling it through a little bit don't pull it too tight because if you pull it too tight you're gonna have a problem um, it's gonna you know pull it from here so you just kinda keep and this color does not fight the other color like if I had black or bright red trying to feed through here we might have more of an issue okay so you kind of feed it a little direction then I flip my rug around and now I'm gonna go back you can't go back in where you were you have to go someplace else so I'm gonna go hmm I think I'm gonna feed it down here and try to go into this next there's not one exact way to do this so you can kind of find what looks best for you what you like and now see how I'm going this we were going this way now we're gonna go back that way this is the way I've been um, teaching it um, someone suggested this to make it kind of lock it in I don't make knots and um, I think that's a great way but see not pull it too hard because can you see the pressure that it's putting there so just kind of place it in there with a little firmness but not overdo now this stitch here is gonna be complicated I can tell there we go I found it I don't know if you caught a little look of my one of my cats is telling me she wants me to pet her but uh, she will have to wait a moment and you would continue on a little bit longer I would usually do it longer than this this is pretty tight okay I'm gonna do one more if I can get it in do you want to get Izzy girl real quick oh she just went underneath the table okay I thought I was gonna show you my sweet cat all right oh there she did you get her mm -hmm. okay so what you're gonna do now is you're going to give her a give it a little bit of a pull just a little tension now you're gonna take your scissors make sure you have good scissors you're gonna get up close but don't cut your rug see how you see it right there but then you're gonna do this bye bye and there you go so there's your um, rug rag rug doggy bone placemat there's a completed this is a variegated one using just scraps which I like um, you can make this different sizes, you could make it shorter, you could make it bigger, you could make it thicker um, and wider and make a bed out of it. There's just endless possibilities. So um, come and join me for one of my over 100 videos and uh, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.